today, I get the luxury of cutting one of these up. Now, there's a few things you're going to want to do when you're going to cut one of these up. One is put down some type of wax paper or something else to protect your surface. It just makes life a lot easier for you later. These things have a lot of latex in them. Concerning the latex, there's a couple other things you need to do. First is get some form of vegetable oil. And oil your knife really, really well. This makes clean up a lot easier. It's easier to clean the oil off than it is the latex. <coughs> Second is oil your hands or just wear gloves. Dead stuff can get just a little bit messy. And each one is different. Some jackfruit that have almost no latex at all. And I've got other ones that you swear more latex came out of it than there was fruit. So you never really know. Make sure you have a good stout knife and a couple of bowls on hand. And you basically want to cut around the edge at the top. Now, you don't want to cut straight across. Just want to cut along the edge. A lot of times they'll tell you how latex how much latex are in it when you do this here and if it comes out really white you've got a lot of latex and cut straight down to go the length of it don't cut through that core it's a big core and there's like on a pineapple you don't want to cut through that That ends up making it more work than necessary. <coughs> it's not a good cut like that. Just kind of get your fingers in there, start pulling it apart. Really, really ripe. All right, now some seeds out of the way. Now I can get in and cut through all the way. as much latex as I was expecting. Now, botanically, this is a giant berry. Now, interesting thing about the jackfruit tree is it is a relative of figs and mulberries, which makes it a ficus. <clears throat> and you got big seeds in it like this. Want to set the seeds aside if you want to grow it. But the seeds are edible too. 
if they're cooked. It is very popular to cook these, roast them. It's most popular. Each one of these seeds is a viable tree. So if you want to grow jackfruit and you're in a subtropic or tropic area, just start with the seed. They produce in like three years. They're incredibly fast growing trees. They grow for a long time. As far as jackfruit goes, this one's actually kind of small. They can grow over 100 pounds easily, over 100 pounds. The hardest part about cleaning one of these, other than the latex, is that skin. It's like leather. fruits out there that you start off with. Let's clean this and have to go at it with a butcher knife. This one is very, smells very, very good too. This was compliments with another member of our tropical fruit club. We brought in buckets and buckets of them. so many of them to the club because he brought in a lot of them. And a lot of times you can just grab hold of the core and just try to pull it out. But this one doesn't want to do that. So I'm going to have to cut it out. But that's okay. Eventually you get to a point where you can really start to work on these things. Now, the vegans like to take the green ones, the non-ripe, and when they clean them, oh boy, they have a lot of latex when they're like that. And they can make a version of like a pulled pork out of it. It's pretty good. It's not pulled pork, but it's definitely something worth eating, so... If you ever run across it, don't be afraid to try it. It's pretty good. Oh, and I got a piece of pulling. pollen. This one just does not want to give up its core. get into it, you get a little pot like this, and the stringy stuff on the outside is what you eat. And the inside is the seed. Squeeze it and shot it out. This is the part you eat. You flip it open and you get rid of this little piece in here. It's, it doesn't really taste all that good. And this a lot like how pineapple is as far as the stringiness and the overall smell and flavor is somewhat similar to a very ripe pineapple it's not exactly the same as a pineapple let me just start working your way through takes quite a bit of time and this is definitely a fruit that if you've never had it before is going to taste very strange at first but it's pretty good it's a little smelly 
nowhere near as smelly as his cousin uh, Dorian, but it smells good. You definitely know it's a tropical fruit when you're eating it. And just make sure you pop out all the seeds, clean this piece here out, and you can eat it just like this, or you can cook with it. I know a lady that is very fond of making smoothies out of these. Not straight, she mixed it with other stuff. And actually, her favorite one I don't much care for because it's basically this. Jackfruit and uh, what's it thrown in there? papaya, and I'm not really a big fan of papaya, so but it's a very stringy fruit, a lot of fiber, very healthy for you. And it takes a good while to clean. I'll actually be at this for quite a while. I don't know if I'll get through the whole cleaning the whole thing tonight. you get going. Individually it doesn't take that long. But there are a lot of these individual sections in here. So you lose a lot of volume due to all the seeds and there are a lot of seeds. You still get a lot of edible as well. So a little bit of a catch twenty two there. And the going rate for this right now is four dollars a pound. That adds up quick, if you think. You get a 10 pound jackfruit, which is a, a fairly average size here in the States. You're looking at 40 bucks for one piece of fruit. Also, why it's starting to become very popular to be grown in South Florida is because the farmers themselves are getting 2.99 or so a pound for the fruit since there's not a lot of people producing it they can pretty much command anything they want not a lot of competition at all but there's 
more and more people starting to grow them, becoming more and more popular, because you can make a decent amount of money from a couple of trees. That being said, the more people that are doing it, the lower the price is going to get. I don't really see jackfruit as becoming overly popular like fruit that people that aren't familiar familiar with it are going to be going out of their way <coughs> or it's a niche market. Once you really get going, it doesn't really take all that long. I mean, 20 minutes, half an hour, and you get a lot of fruit. You should refrigerate it after this. This one is very, very ripe. And I'm probably going to bag up about half of it and freeze it for later. And this will be breakfast tomorrow. Rest of us, you know, those that are going to be willing to eat it, because not everybody in my family is interested in eating jackfruit. Part of that is because I think it's Orient. Somewhere, so they're like, nope. I've seen TV shows that show Dorian. I'm like, no, we ain't doing that. No, I have encountered Dorian, and I ain't doing that either. The jackfruit is not the same. one of these cells has a seed in it. Like I said, the seeds are edible. They just got to be cooked first. So, if you're just looking at it for food value, then you can eat the seeds. Not a bad deal. You can't eat the skin, but that's like a piece of leather. Let it dry out, it really starts to look like a piece of old dried out leather. When you're cleaning and you take the seeds out, make sure you get that extra little piece that's in there. That extra little piece kind of sucks. It's bitter and it tastes weird and has a weird feel in the mouth.
No food to feed the family. And this is a small one. So, just think of how it would be if it was a 100-pound one. You really have some work ahead of you. I mean, you really should have multiple people cleaning something of that size. But, uh, it's a lot of food. And that's why they're so popular in certain circles is because one is a lot of food. will brown relatively quickly, so it's important to get it in a bag as soon as possible. So here momentarily, when I'm done with this one, I'm going to stop. I'm going to wrap that one up and get it refrigerated. And I'm going to get what I have in the bowl in a bag and refrigerate it. Because it will brown. Nowhere near the best in the world at cleaning these, but uh, just take your time when you're doing it. Get as much as you can. Don't forget to stop and eat a couple pieces while you're going. really no point in doing all this cleaning if you're not going to take the time to eat some of it, right? It's like picking blueberries. You eat some of it, some of it goes in a bucket.
you know, dealing with the not the real world that hard. It just pops up. Well, the vast majority of these seeds are not going to be roasting. They're going to be planting. Not for me, but for other people. Jackfruit is extremely popular right now in my area. So if I can get a bunch of jackfruit growing, and I can hook some people up with some baby jackfruit trees, nice and happy. Sometimes you just get pizza that won't cooperate. I'm going to have to fish a bunch of those up from underneath my couch. You don't want your dog to kill the world. So the seeds are edible. Cooked, not raw. This particular section has got about the same consistency as the overripe pineapple. Just the last little bit of the first half. And I'm going to call quits. Wrap the rest up tomorrow. Oh, 
fun. I've got a really good breakfast. It's healthy. With family tomorrow morning. For the ones that I can get to eat it. For the ones that I can't get to eat it, they'll probably complain. But that's what kids do. people will be willing to eat it. 